Thank you. 
British Maine originally named the parts of the American mainland from Mexico to Peru taken by Spain. Later it came to include the islands and waters of the Caribbean. This big globe, it says, old world, made before 1492. This globe leaves out the new world. It shows how Columbus thought he could reach Asia by crossing the Atlantic. And this is a treasure ship.
except their own, and their leaders maintain discipline with horrible acts of cruelty. However, some, such as Henry Morgan, fought for fame and glory and became heroes. Welshman Henry Morgan, 1635 
assassination of Caligula, retaining one's position as emperor during those turbulent times required both staunch allies within Rome and military success in the far-flung corners of an expanding system. 
is a soldier from Saga.
Mesopotamians were inventing writing. 
So 
which suggests that he may have had some personal experience of them. Elizabeth the 
Essex was beheaded, Shakespeare refers to the Earl's downfall in Much Ado About Nothing. Royal Procession Elizabeth I's courtiers sometimes carried her through London in a, a seat called a palanquin. This gave ordinary people a chance to see their queen. This 19th century woodcut was copied from a 1601 one painting by Robert Peake. The Playwrights The London stage was dominated in the early 1590s by the plays of a group of university-educated men such as Robert Greene, Christopher Marlowe and Thomas Nash. Shakespeare was also an established playwright. His success was due partly to the fact that he was once a player. He knew what worked on stage and what did not. Sweet Revenge Shakespeare learned to write by watching and acting in a new type of play called A Revenge Tragedy, in which a murder is committed His first place was the revenge tragedy Titus Andronicus. Making ink. Black ink was made from swellings called galls found on oak trees. The galls were crushed and mixed with water or vinegar and a chemical called green vitriol made by pouring acid over rusty nails. The final ingredient was gum arabic, the dried sap of the Arcacia tree. And here we have a 17th century inkwell and quill. Tools of the trade. All educated people knew how to cut a pen from a goose feather using a pen knife. Playwrights like Shakespeare had to keep their pen knives close at hand, ready for when the quill snip wore out and a new one needed to be cut. Marlowe, the writer who most influenced Shakespeare, was Christopher Marlowe, 1564 to 1593. Marlowe put stirring speeches into the mouths of tragic heroes such as Dr. Faustus, a scholar who sells his soul to the devil. And here is Dr. Faustus summoning a devil using magic. England at war. From 1585 to 1604, Protestant England was at war with Catholic Spain, ruled by King Philip II. The war created a mood of patriotism in the country, and people wanted to see plays drawn from English history with battles on the stage. So in the 1590s, Shakespeare wrote nine plays dealing with English history, featuring kings, wars, and battles for the throne. last words. The play Richard II tells how King Richard II was overthrown by his cousin who became Henry IV. The play contains Shakespeare's famous patriotic speech spoken by John of Gaunt. This happy breed of men, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. Sir John Falstaff Falstaff is the drunken knight who befriends Prince Hal in the two Henry IV plays. The plays show a series of rebellions against Henry IV, whose troubled reign is God's punishment for overthrowing Richard II. Agincourt Henry V tells the story of England's great victory over the French at the Battle of Agincourt. Follow your spirit, cries the king, and cry God for Harry, England, and St. George. Murder most.